So I'm here with uh, Ian and Justin from Greenfields Financial Management and congratulations on your award, gentlemen. Thank you. Um, if we start off with Ian, can you tell me uh, a little bit more about the business as a whole? Yes, the business is really aimed at serving the clients and working for the clients. I came into the industry in the 80s and it was all about financial advisors selling financial products. I tried to turn this on the head because turning it around, it meant that the advisor should work for the client, not be there to sell them a financial product. And from that, I worked with others to set up the Institute of Financial Planning, which I was a founder member of. My solicitor at the time dropped the charter. And this was set up to encourage advisors to do holistic financial planning, look at the whole picture, and serve the client and we work on charging on a time basis, the client would benefit from any commission generated. Uh, then that way, the, we're taking instructions from the client on their goals and objectives, and it's our task to set out to achieve those goals and to monitor it on a regular basis so the clients get cash flow projections on their own computer so they can see exactly how their life is planned out ahead so you shouldn't have anything to worry about other than not being able to get a job or, <laughs> or going out with elaborate spending and going off the budget. But it's all organised for them so that it takes away all the worry. And we use all our technology so that people can feel comfortable with their lives, living to their standard of living and not worrying about future generations paying large amounts of inheritance tax if we can avoid it. So that... Um, it's all planned out nicely for them. <laughs> and you mentioned that holistic approach, that sort of client-focused yeah. approach. Is that one of the, the, the biggest elements that makes Greenfields different from Definitely, perhaps competitors? Yes, because we work totally putting a plan together that suits them, which might not involve any financial products at all, but just a lot of cash flow projections and tax planning so that they pay as little capital gains tax as they need pay all sorts of things and all sorts of ideas we can come up with. And today, the, the Greenfields operates with, I brought in younger people to train them up in that way of working. And nowadays, I take a step back to manage the business and let them advise clients. They're all paid on a salary, no bonuses for anything extra, but they know the rules of the clients sing their praises, they get a good pay rise. If the clients think they're rubbish, they don't get a pay rise. So it's up to them to work hard for the clients' <laughs> behalf because they're the one paying us. <laughs> and we're with one of the people that you've brought through over the last few years. So Justin, um, you're in charge of mortgages and equity so release. Yes. Uh, could you talk yeah. to us a little bit more about that area? Yeah, well, it ties in very much um, to what Ian's already said, really, the holistic you know, financial planning. You know, it's very important that clients, you know, they may come to you with the idea that equity release is their, you know, their go-to product. This is what they kind of, you know, set in their mind. But it's very important to discuss all the all the various options with them. Sometimes it's not the right avenue to take. And it's never with Greenfields, a, you know, a case of really pushing a product onto the client. It's really doing what is in their best interest. And uh, in particular, over the last 12 months has been a difficult um, financially, of course, the financial landscape of the last 12 months has been difficult in general. Have you been key uh, for your clients in terms of um, keeping their lives hassle free and stress free in that sense? Yes, yeah, certainly. Well, it's yeah. well highlighted in, on you know, the TV and the news about mortgages currently. Um, so, yes, all, all of our clients have been coming back to us. It's just offering them that, that reassurance um, that, you know, we, we, we're doing the best we can for them and helping them, you know, hold their hand through, through the difficult times. And we did warn them a year ago that interest rates were set to rise and to plan for it now. And those that listened to us did rather well. Oh, fantastic. Those didn't aren't doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, but you gave them that advice and I suppose yeah. that's all part of it. Yeah, you that's you right. can we have to you try and warn them happening. as much as they can. Yes. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on your award and thanks for speaking to us today. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you.